So now let's work with multi bevel effect inside of Element 3D. So in order to start with multi bevel effect, I have a text layer right here and I have a solid layer. So let me go into the scene setup and extrude this out. But before we do that, we have to set the text as a custom layer in the Element 3D plugin. So I'm going to go into Element 3D inside of custom layer. I'm going to select Tutu Tube as my source. So I'm going to go into the scene setup and I'm going to extrude that out. So I'm going to press extrude and here I have my text just like this. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of this. So this is my extruded model right here and you can see that there are bevel copies right here. It's like this. So you can go over here and you can see that you have uh, you can have multiple level of bevel copies. Right now it's set to one. So I can go over here, set some procedure onto this. So I'm going to add in some texture onto this, something like plastic. So let me just click and drag and there you go. I have my plastic sh shader for this, uh, uh, for this extruded text right here. So I'm going to have two bevel copies. And once you do that, you can see that there's an overlapping of the bevel right there. And you can see it kind of looks funny right now, but you can expand this out. So you can expand the extrusion model right here, go to bevel two. And you can see that you can expand the size or decrease the size over here. So I'm going to go off with the Z offset and you can see that now it actually separates from the first layer just like that. So I can expand this out, expand the size just like that. And you can see at the background, now you have this cool little effect. And now you can add in another effect onto this, like this one. So it gives uh, this kind of a texture to it. I'm going to change the texture so that it looks more shiny, for example, this one. And for the background, I'm going to add in a color and you can see that this is the background just like that. I can also have a third layer of the copy. I can go to extrusion model. I can do three layers of copy right there and I can expand this out as well. So I'm going to go for the third level of pebble and I'm going to increase and decrease the, um, the offset just like this. I'm going to increase the offset. I'm going to decrease the bevel size right here. It's going to decrease the bevel size and then now just drag this out just like that. You can see that there are three level of effects right there. And this creates an interesting level of 3D objects just like that. So uh, you can do that with shapes as well. And you can see that the bevel presets right here in the physical shader are made just like this. So these are simply multiple levels of be bevels copies that are made uh, over here. So you can do this up to five times just like that and create interesting level of effect. And once I press OK, it'll come up to the composition layer right here. And now what I'm going to do is disable the top layer. I'm going to create a new camera and work with the unified camera tool right here. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to work with the orbit camera tool right here. Let's click and drag. There you go. Just like this. And I'm going to just click and drag it out here over here. I'm going to go for unified camera tool so I can zoom in and as well. Click and drag around and there you go. That's my 3D object right there. So that is how you can work with multiple bevels inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.